Okay, so now CVEX1. So Aya, Blaze, Seria. So first, Blaze. Blaze facing the right side, then Seria. Seria facing the anywhere, and Aya. Aya facing the left side, and you can start to AFK now. Okay, so now CVEX2. Aya, Exuzai, Suzuran, and your favorite AoE caster. So first, Exuzai. Exuzai facing the left side, then Suzuran. Suzuran facing the bottom side, then Aya. Aya facing a uh, left side, then uh, your favorite AoE caster. Can be Passenger, S1, Mostima, or whatever, okay? Just bring a favorite caster. Put facing the left side, and you can start to AFK now. Okay, so now CVEX3 challenge mode. Koshiguma, Seiria, Blaze, Aya, Shiny. So first, Aya. Aya facing the bottom side, then Blaze. Blaze facing the bottom side, then Hoshiguma. Koshiguma facing the left side, then Shining. Shining facing the top side, then Seiria. Seiria finished the Tetris and you can start to AFK now. CVEX4 Challenge Mode. Blaze, Aya, Pit Losses, here to be in Pit Losses, and eat, uh, with the module, yeah? And then a specialist, either Ethan, Manticore, Mizuki, or Lee. Okay, let's go. So first, Blaze. This Ethan here is just to hold the enemies longer and also provide additional DPS. If your level is not enough. If you are like me, everything maxed out, the tree will be enough, okay? Then, Aya. Or Pilosis first, it's also possible. You put Pilosis first because the spiders will burst and deal AoE damage. Aya facing the right side and last Ethan. Ethan facing the top side because here our Pilosis cannot heal. Cannot heal, later burst, yeah, I would Ethan die. So yeah, just like this, and you can start to AFK now. Now, CVEX5, challenge mode. Aya, Ifrit, Hoshiguma, Seiria, Vanguard, and Shining. So first, Texas, your Vanguard. Vanguard here. Okay, make sure Vanguard can eat two hits, okay? After two hits, the guy will go away. Two hits. So about 1,600 HP, okay? 1,600 HP. Aya facing the top side, then Seiria. 
1600 HP, yeah? If you bring lower than that, I can't help. After that, Syria. Then, Ifrit. Ifrit facing the bottom side, then Shining. Shining facing the bottom side to provide the deep defense aura, and then Hoshiguma. Hoshiguma facing the right side and retreat Texas. And you can start to AFK now. Okay, so now CVEX6 challenge mode. The same thing as CVEX5. Aya, Ifrit, Hoshi, Seiya, Vanguard, and Shining. First, Texas facing the left side. Then Aya. Aya facing the bottom side. Then Hoshiguma. Hoshiguma facing the left side. Then Ifrit. Or Shining first. Maybe Shining first. Shining facing the left side. Facing the left side, yeah? Left side. And Ifrit. Ifrit facing the bottom side. Then Seiria. Seiria facing the left side. And you can start to AFK now. CVEX 7 challenge mode. So, this is also the debut of Typhoon scale 2. Aya, Ifrit, Blaze, Seiria, Shining, and your favorite Vanguard. So, first, your favorite Vanguard, then Blaze. Blaze facing a top side, then Aya. Aya facing the right side, then Typhoon. Typhoon facing the top side, then Ifrit. Typhoon skill ready, use Typhoon skill. Ifrit. To the right side, then Shining. Shining facing the top side, then Seiria. Seiria facing the top side, and wait for Typhoon skill again. Typhoon skill ready, Typhoon skill, and you can start to AFK now. Okay, so finally the last stage, CVEX8. Different from the other CVEX stages, the challenge mode and the normal mode for this stage are full AFK and have the same strategy. But remember, if you want to do the trip medal, you have to do it at the normal mode. The requirements is that you have to use the devices to kill the boss twice. The boss has two phases. In order to get the tree medal, you have to use the devices ray to kill the boss twice. Okay, so now into the team. So before, if you are about to sub somebody, remember to finish the whole video first before thinking about who to sub, okay? So first, Blaze. Blaze for the resist. Resist. If you use Chongue, it's a bit risky, okay? Plus, it's very hard to stack the stack, so Blaze is recommended here. Torrents, here, Torrents is recommended because, because he has this 
Poison, which can also trigger the device. Hoshiguma can be Seira, but Hoshiguma has high defense, so it depends. Mudrock, as high level as possible. Golden Glow, Lumen. Lumen here because we are with this X because we want the status resistance. However, if the Lumen, AR Alter can also work out. Shining for the additional defense, remember to get the module up, and Skadi Alter. The rest of the slots, or if you are about to substitute anybody else, remember to finish the whole video first and then decide yourself, okay? Let's go. So first, Golden Glow. Golden Glow facing the top side, then Thorns. Thorns facing a top side. Here, remember, 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 do not use Thorn skill, okay? Do not use Thorn skill. Because the device has lower priority than the enemies. So if you use Thorn skill, Thorn's attack range will increase and he will be hitting the enemies instead of this device. But in this game, we want Thorns to be focusing on hitting the device instead of the enemies, okay? After that, Scuddy Alter facing a top side and wait for your Mud Rock. So just leave your Thorns like this for the whole game. Mud Rock facing a top side and then Lumen. Lumen facing a top side, and now wait, okay? Wait, wait for the boss to at least reach here and stand still, okay? At least reach here and stand still. Or not, if you put your shining here, the boss throw the stun grenade, and then boom, 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 your shining gone. Okay, so at least wait for the boss to reach here. Or better to wait, the boss start moving here, and then enter the, this thing. So why we use Torrent Seal? Because Torrent's Poison, as you can see, it actually triggers the device. So if there's an enemy, yeah, Torrent will target the enemy instead of the device. Later on, this big bear, what well, there will be a big bear standing here, which we don't want. Torrent to be hitting. We want Torrent to keep hitting the device so that the boss is always in the shine of the device so that we can have higher possibilities to kill the boss in with the race. After that, after the boss go into the hole, then Shining, Blaze, Hoshiguma, and you can start to AFK now. So at the top side, as you can see, if it's a bit risky, so my Marok is almost maxed out here. If it's a bit risky, then you add this Seaborn, okay? To help your Marok a bit. Yeah, afterwards, you can start to AFK now. And let the devices do the job. So what is the mechanism of this stage? So if the boss is in the if any of the enemies is in the ray they will have reduced damage and take damage all the time but for normal enemies the normal enemies will um, gain the charge which makes them having higher defense but the magic resistance is still the same so as you can see here now the boss is actually taking damage from the rays and the boss also deals lesser damage if you don't use the ray uh, the boss one stun grenade, do -do 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 and then everybody uh, everybody will die. Even Hoshiguma with the Shining will also die. So, yeah. So you have to try your best to let the boss be in the race. Or, or you can use Typhoon skill 3 and lock down the boss and kill the boss. Yeah, that's very simple. As you can see here. So, if the boss is not in the ray, if the boss is not in the ray, he can actually kill anybody. And so that is the hard part of the stage. But if the boss is in the ray, yeah, the boss cannot kill anybody. So here, if a Hoshiguma dies, it's also okay. No need to worry. If Hushuma is back, you can put it back if you like. But you don't have to worry because there are two devices here. And then it's most probably you can be able to slow the boss. Okay, and that's it. 